Kyrie, uh, Kevin's been really complimentary of the younger generation of basketball players in the league right now. So what do you make of LaMelo and the game that he had and just the player he is? I mean, it, it seems as though we've we've watched uh, him grow up in the, in the basically the public eye since he was 14. Um, and, you know, here he is with us uh, with a, a long career ahead of him. Um, you know, so there, there's definitely an impression that he leaves on us every time we play. And, um, you know, he knows that in order to earn his respect in this league, he not only has to pay his dues, but um, he just has to bring it every single time against the best. And, and I feel like he's been doing that lately. Uh, obviously, he's done it in his short career, but against, you know, the good teams, the great teams in this league, you really want to see him uh, show that poise, show his talent, um, and see how he makes everybody better. So uh, to be doing it at a young age like that, he falls in line with a lot of the greats that have come before him. And, um, you know, he's just trailblazing his own path. One one thing that you uh, you have as a young player, especially when you get drafted high in the order and there are a lot of expectations, you know, you want to leave your legacy early, but you understand it's a long game. So I'm proud of him. Uh, just because everything, you know, tonight meant, you know, when you start whatever was 0 for 4, 0 for 5, you know, I imagine you can probably be 0 for 8 and think everything's going to be fine. I'll make them eventually. Mm -hmm. Where you're like, oh, my God, I got to hit one here. These people are waiting for me to make one. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, you feel it anyway. <laughs> you feel the, the uh, kind of the anticipation. I felt it, uh, you know, my my layup going to the rim, in and out, you know, three in and out. My first shot, three felt good. Um, but those are just moments that, uh, you know, you, you just try to stay level-headed because yeah, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to to start aiming the, the basketball rather than just playing off instincts. So, um you know, like I said before, I think these are these lessons you can learn from that I can learn from uh, moving forward. Uh, but I'm just glad it's done. I'm just glad it's done. I, I played my first home game and, and uh, I know the next one will be a lot better. Kyrie, you guys are uh, tied for eighth now with seven games to go. Obviously, a lot of where you guys are in the standings has to do with your absence for, for a few months there, too. Um, what do you think of the challenge that now lies ahead with so little time to kind of pull this together and try to obviously first make the playoffs before making a finals run. And also uh, how much have you considered where you guys might've been had you been able to play? I mean, honestly, there's no time to consider the past. Uh, it's not going to do anybody, any, anybody in our locker room or, or anybody, any justice uh, thinking about what could have been the, the shoulds and the could have. Uh, we only can control what we can control moving forward. Uh, we know where we are in the standings and uh, we also know how much talent we have in that locker room and what we're capable of doing. So, uh, though this may look like a, um, you know, a loss that could 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 have easily been a win column for us, uh, we'll just take our bumps and bruises and move forward. Um, but you know, I think what we've been able to learn thus far is uh, when we limit our distractions, and that includes thinking about uh, you know the past or thinking about what the future holds. Uh, we're not in a good place. You know, I don't think that's that's a good energy to have or a good mindset. So the mentality we have moving forward is, is just taking one day at a time, live in the moment and enjoy it um, because nothing's guaranteed here, not even tomorrow. Kyrie, now that you've played at home and you're back full time, what are you hoping the legacy of your stance will be? What do you mean? <clears throat> How do you want people to remember this season of yours? and the decision that you made? I mean, I've made it very clear. It was never just about me. You know, I think uh, for my own legacy, uh, that's to be written by all those that I impact and all those that impact me. And um, it's far bigger than just a basketball game. But when I'm in this locker room, I get a chance to perform with a bunch of guys that are selfless and are sacrificing just as much as I am. Um, you know, it makes it worthwhile. And that's the only thing that I'm really focused on is the now and getting back ready for the next game and just going from there. But uh, the point of this season for me was never to um, just take a stand. It was really to make sure that I'm standing on what I believe in and freedom. Freedom. I don't think that's a word that... Um, gets defined enough in our society about the freedom to make choices with your life without someone telling you what to do. Um, and whether that carries over into uh, nuances of our society that 
you know, politicians control or government controls or um, things people that are in power, the powers may be, right, that control. Um, I'm standing for freedom. So that's in all facets of my life. And there's nobody that's enslaving me. There's nobody telling me that what I'm going to do with my life. And that's just the way I am. And if I get tarnished, you know, in terms of my image and people try to slander my name continuously because, uh, you know, that's, those are things that I forget. You know, I haven't forgotten anything that anybody said. I don't read everything, but I definitely read some things that put my family's name in a certain position that I believe are unfair. I've been discriminated against. You know, people have said things that have been biased. They've they've gone against um, their own morals. And uh, where we live in today, I, I have such a strong moral code of just being honest, being truthful, following God's guidance, God's guidance, and just living with the results. But um, in terms of that, that's a selfless. I'm a servant, so I'm 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 comfortable being in that position. How would you sum up your emotions tonight overall? <sighs> Man. Uh... <laughs> First, I was trying to get enough sleep last night, you know, landing at 3 a.m. and then just not going to bed till 6. So I was just trying to uh, ground myself as much as possible um, today and just prepare for the warm reception from a lot of supporters of the organization, of me, um, just the journey thus far. Uh, so I don't take it for granted what happened tonight. It was historic. I'm grateful that uh, I got a chance to be out there with my brothers and um, you know, just leave it all out there. Not the result we wanted. I didn't shoot as well as I wanted. Um, basically, none of the things I, <laughs> I had hoped for going well tonight um, just didn't happen. And uh, that's just the flow of basketball. And, um, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, I felt okay. Uh, but just the jump shot wasn't falling tonight and we weren't hitting shots. So not the result we wanted, but, um, you know, definitely grateful that we were part of history tonight and I got to do it here. You played on the biggest stages before, so this didn't compare to a, a finals, but <laughs> was there nerves or how would you describe the feeling is your name is called or you enter the building? I wish we had a day rest at least, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, playing on a back-to-back -back against a, uh, you know, good Charlotte team. They've been playing well lately. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. So, uh, like I said, not the result we wanted, but we can definitely learn, from, grow from this. and. Um, you know, just taking the moment now that it's done. Um, you know, now we can move on. Now that everybody can move on, uh, especially in the locker room, limited distractions, no fear, and uh, next game will be better. Kyrie, you said yesterday it was going to be a bit weird going from a road game to a home game after after your situation. This was your first back-to-back -back in roughly two months. I know you didn't play 40 minutes last night in Miami. Did you think that impacted your, your play total today? Yeah, I think it impacted everybody. Uh, you know, shots that we usually make. Uh, plays that we usually make, we we just weren't at our standard tonight, and uh, you know we just we take full accountability. I take full accountability. I mean, six for 22, 40 minutes on a back to back. I think I could have made a bigger impact on the game, um, just taking my time a little bit more, and uh, just let the game come to me. But definitely, uh, when, when you're out there and you hear the crowd reactions, you, you hear everything that's going on. Try not to be a distraction, but um, it is what it is, and I, I'm grateful that we can move forward. But um, you know, tonight, my presence out there was just bigger than the basketball game. You know, it was just representing a lot of individuals that are out there in a similar uh, situation as me. Um, and now that I could play, I, I think it should be opened up for everybody. So.